Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink and our new session on thermodynamics. Have you guys ever wondered why warm water stays warmer inside a thermos flask, while it cools down within a matter of minutes when placed in an open flask? Well, you'll know the answer after understanding the thermodynamic systems and its types, which is the topic for today's session. In simple terms, a system is a definite region or space in which thermodynamic processes take place. Everything outside this thermodynamic system is termed as surroundings. The system and surroundings are separated by the thermodynamic boundary. There are three main types of thermodynamic systems, namely open systems, closed systems and isolated systems. Let's talk about them in a bit more detail. The first type of system is an open system. When mass and energy can freely move in and out of a system, then it is called an open system. The most common example for this system is when you boil water in an open container. When water is heated in an open container, both mass and energy can move out of the system in the form of water vapors. There are systems in which energy can move in and out easily, but mass cannot move in and out. Such a system which is impervious to the transfer of mass is known as a closed system. A simple example of such a system is when you boil water in a closed container. When water is heated inside a closed container, energy inside the container will go out through the walls, while the mass of the water will remain the same. We talked about open and closed systems. In both systems, energy is always transferred to and from the system. However, there is a system in which neither mass nor energy is transferred through the boundary of the system. Such systems are known as isolated systems. These systems are not practically possible, but there are some systems which stay as isolated systems for some time before eventually becoming a closed system. The most common example of this is a thermos flask. When we fill a thermos flask with hot water, it stays warm for a long period of time. This is because it acts as an isolated system for some time and prevents the energy and mass inside the flask from escaping the flask walls or the system boundary. Besides open, closed and isolated systems, there is another classification of systems which we should be familiar with. These systems are adiabatic systems, homogeneous systems and heterogeneous systems. An adiabatic system is a system which is thermally isolated from its surroundings. However, unlike isolated systems, adiabatic systems can exchange work with their surroundings. A homogeneous system is a system which consists of particles in a single phase. A mixture of air and water vapor is the most common example of such a system. On the other hand, a heterogeneous system is one which contains particles under two or more phases. An example of such a system is the mixture of water and oil. Now, it's time to bring this session to a halt. Today, we discussed the thermodynamic systems and its types. We also talked about adiabatic, homogeneous and heterogeneous systems. In our upcoming sessions, we will cover more topics related to thermodynamics. If you guys enjoyed our content, don't forget to like this video. This is Skill Link and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.